friends. Our news looks a little different today, and that is because I decided to try to use some rhyming words and make my news into a poem. So after you read, we're going to go through together and try to find our rhyming words. All right, take a moment to read the news. Don't forget you can pause it if you need to. All right, let's read together. Hi to you. How do you do? It is a new day and it is May. Uh-oh. Miss Cassidy forgot a period. <laughs> All right. I'm going to have fun. Will you play in the sun? Great reading. Lots of sight words in this. All right. So first, let's read the first sentence again and find our rhyming words. Hi to you. How do you do? What are our rhyming words here? You do. They both say ooh. And I actually have do and you in there twice. These are the two that really rhyme though. All right, let's read the next sentence and see if we can find our rhyming words. It is a new day and it is May. Hmm, what are our rhyming words there? <gasps> day, May. They both say A. Awesome job. Let's read our last one. I'm going to have fun. Will you play in the sun? Hmm, what's our rhyming word? We have two rhyming words there. <gasps> fun. Oh, my marker's not working. Let's try this one. Whoops. Fun. Sun. They both say on. Great job, friends. Hey, guys. Today, I want you to help me figure out what day it is. So. With your favorite song, <laughs> Mommy. Not yet. Hi. All right. So, Friday was the 25th day. So, what number and what color post-it note will come next? Look at our pattern. What color do you think will come next? What color is that? Red. Red. JJ thinks red. Do you think red, too? I do. Let's grab red post-it notes. And then... Hmm. What number? What number will it be? Hmm. 25, 26. Yeah, 26. Okay, so let's stick 26 up there. And how do we write 26? I know we need a 2 for 20. And then what number should go right here? What are we thinking? What number is that? Ooh, 6, 6, Ooh, probably a 6. 26. Everybody say 26. Good job. All right, let's get back and look at our calendar. Today, it's a new month. Oh, no. It is May. And if you look at our May, it has a butterfly, and it has some tulip flowers and some more flowers, and a picnic basket, and a buzzing bee. It looks really nice outside. These are all activities you might be able to do in May. Because May is still spring, but it's starting to get warmer and warmer. May. <laughs> May, mm. hey, stop. Take it back. <laughs> I will be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Sorry, JJ tried to take my camera. Ah. All right, so May is a really, really big month for us. There's lots of things happening this month in May. So the first thing that's going to happen next Sunday, actually this coming Sunday, is Mother's Day. Dads, make sure you're getting a gift ready. Okay. Mother's Day is on Sunday. Then on the 14th, we have Christina's birthday. Woohoo! On the 17th, we have Emily and Charlie's birthday. They have the same birthday. On the 27th, or on, is it on the 27th? Yeah. On the 27th, we have Jace's birthday. And then this summer, when you guys are at home, we have Enzar and Brooklyn's birthday. So we're going to celebrate their birthdays this month too. So lots of birthdays coming up. We also have our last day of school right here. So today we're going to start counting down till the last day of school. So the last day is right here or right here. And then there's also Memorial Day coming up on the 25th. Okay, great job. So I already filled in Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for you. So I'll scoot you a little closer so you can see those. Today is Monday. Yesterday was Sunday, and tomorrow will be Tuesday. So, so far we have a yellow butterfly, an orange
orange butterfly, a yellow butterfly. And our number was three. So what number and what kind of butterfly do you think come next? Now our pattern might surprise us. We don't really have enough to know for sure yet. I think, and I don't know, but I'm guessing that it's gonna be an orange butterfly and I know that it's number four because number four always comes after number three. <gasps> Did I get it right? An orange butterfly at number four, yeah. May the fourth be with you today. All right, it's Star Wars Day. If you're a Star Wars fan, definitely watch some Star Wars today. All right, let's say today's day, and then we'll write it on our whiteboard, okay? Today is Monday, May 4th, 2020, okay? Scoot you back up. Let's write it on our whiteboard. And we actually have to change a couple things on our whiteboard today, okay? It's still 2020, so we can leave the year alone, but our month has changed. So not the fourth month anymore. We'll figure out what number needs to go there, and it's definitely not the 28th anymore. So we'll delete, we'll delete, <laughs> we'll erase both of those. All right, so we have to figure out what number we need for May. So let's say our months, and when we get to May, we'll stop. Ready? Here we go. January, February, March, April, May. So what number should I write for May? Good job, the number five. It's the fifth month in the year. And then our number for today is the fourth. It's the fourth day in May, so four will go here. So you can write this on your work today. Hopefully you guys are working hard on your packets. You've got lots and lots of stuff to keep you busy. All right. Let's say our pattern. Yellow butterfly, orange butterfly. Yellow butterfly, orange butterfly. Pretty simple so far. All right. We're not going to do our post-it notes today because we're going to do shape review. So we're going to review 2D and 3D shapes. Now remember, 2D shapes are the ones that are flat. 3D shapes are the ones that are fat. Okay? I know. That's silly. All right. Let's start with our 2D shapes first. And I'm missing my triangle. I think JJ took it, but that's okay. What's this shape? It has four equal sides. What shape is that? Square. Great job. Okay. What about this one? Hmm. This one has six sides and six corners. Hexagon. Very nice. What's this shape? This one just has one edge that goes around and around. No corners. That's a circle. All right. This is the one that always tricks you guys. What's this one? It can go this way or this way. It has two long sides and two short sides and there's four of them rectangle awesome job all right let's do our 3d shapes you guys are getting really good at the 3d shapes because we've been practicing a lot all right what's this one Cone. Hmm. Hmm. what's this one cylinder, cylinder. <laughs> what's this one Ooh, the sides kind of look like this shape. Rectangular prism. What about this one? Kind of looks like this. The faces are squares. That's a cube. All equal edges. And last but not least, this is a sphere. Now let's look at the difference between a sphere and a circle. Circle is flat. Whoop. Sphere is not flat. See how they're different? Pretty cool, huh? All right, guys. Good job, and I'll see you later. All right, friends. So we're here to count down how many days left in kindergarten. My poster says count down to the last day of kindergarten, okay? So if you look at our calendar, we have, we're only going to count the learning days. So that's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11. We have 11 days. And we have finished our calendar for today. So we are going to cross out the number 11. So now, 10 days left of kindergarten. Can you believe it? That's crazy. I want to give you a quick reminder that the last week of school, which is like the 18th, 19th, and 20th, we won't really be doing any new learning because Miss Cassidy has to go and pack up our room and everything. All right, guys.